Welcome, I'm from MBZ, Infinex Hot 9, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see, the phone in front of me has a pattern as a way of unlocking, and well, also Google. So give it a second and it should load. There we go. So to begin the bypass, we're going to go back to the first page. And we're going to change the language from English to any language that uses a different keyboard. You can see basically anything down here will suffice. So select whatever you want. And let's back, not skip. Uh, now let's select here and proceed further. And we basically want to get go back to the page where we need to verify uh, the verify the Google account. From here, tap on a field to bring up the keyboard, then hold the globe icon next to the space, and want to go to language settings or keyboard settings, then tap on the button on the bottom and add a keyboard. Now it looks like I already have one added, so for you this page will look completely different, but basically what you want to do is tap on any field that doesn't have an arrow and then tap on add, which is this blue button right here and simply go back to the first page and change back to your desired language and again progress through the setup and again tap on a field hold the globe icon and let's go to language settings add a keyboard and from from here look for an option with an arrow, as you can see Albanian is one of them. Tap on three dots and go to help and feedback. And look right here if you have a Morse code or use Morse code. It looks like I do not, so I'm just going to tap on a field and search for it myself. Now as you can see our keyboard is in a different language, so to combat that, hold globe icon, select alphabet query, and there we go. And I'm just going to type in two letters, M-O, and it pops up as a suggested use Morse code. So let's select that, tap on a video to play it, then tap on three dots, go to watch later, and this will open up our web browser. There we go. So from here, accept and continue, and no thanks, and tap on the search bar, and then navigate to hard reset it info. and slash bypass, like so. From here you want to scroll a little bit down and tap on the settings app. This will open up our settings, hopefully. Okay, so that opened up settings. Now I clicked on Google as you've seen. So from here, we're gonna go to privacy and quickly check. And there we go, security. And from here, scroll down to screen pinning, enable it, and then check the lock device when unpinning. And this will bring up the option to set up a lock screen. Now, as you've seen at the beginning, uh, the way that we could bypass the um, Google verification was uh, by confirming the pattern that was previously set. So just to keep it a little bit different, I'm gonna go with a pin just so it changes uh, to something else. And from here I'm going to set my own pin. I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's tap on next, confirm it, 1, 2, 3, 4, confirm. And there we go, now it's set. 
I'm gonna skip this and simply go back. So once I'm back in the setup area, I'm gonna proceed further. And you can see verify pin instead of pattern. So again, let's use our pin. One, two, three, four. Next. And there we go. As you can see, it's now bypassed. So from here, we can simply progress through the setup, finish it up. Now, I would still recommend for you to perform a reset of the device through settings. This will ensure that uh, any kind of leftovers from that account that was blocking us will be removed. So I'm gonna quickly finish it up and show you where you can find the reset option, but I'm just simply not gonna go through with it because it will just waste a little bit more time. Okay, so as you can see we're almost on the home screen, there we go. So let's go to the settings. From here you want to scroll down to system, I believe. Reset options and then factory or erase all data, factory reset and then erase all data. And then confirm the pin that you have set, assuming you have set the same thing as I did. So that would be the 1, 2, 3, 4 pin. Um, so yeah, once you do it, the device will begin reset and it will remove basically any kind of leftovers. From there, you will be back in the setup screen, uh, at which point you can set up your device as however you like. But that is how you would bypass the Google verification on here. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.